The events you are about to witness are real. They are actual moments captured on cameras. They are presented to you uncut and unedited. Some viewers may find some images disturbing. Viewer discretion advised. Sandwich boy. Oh, hey, Paul. What? What are you doing in here? Where's Johnson? Johnson got fired. You got fired? Yeah. For what? Apparently, long story short, Johnson's a boob toucher. A boob toucher? And they don't like that here, right? Do. Nope. You're not supposed to do that. No. Nope. All right. It's amazing. Well, I don't know what to do now. You know, I have his lunch for him. Did he already pay for it? Yeah. Well... OK. What the? What is this? This is a website where you can order current and former Russian military equipment. It's like in another language. It's in Cyrillic, but you can actually get it the page translated. But I'm looking at these, which are some some night vision goggles, third generation. Uh-huh. They're fantastic. You could light a whole stadium with a single match. We have to have those. I know. And I get my own pair. Yes. That's these awesome. Are, these are going to come in some do handy it. investigations. Oh, man, that's be great. awesome. So I'll just put it on the old card. Hey, hey, babe, what are you doing? What, are you crazy? You're going to give me your credit card? It's a Russian website. You're so right. God, you'd, you'd be done. Give me your card. All right. Um, I only have a $40 limit. Oh, well, it's going to be I'd, more than $40. Yeah, probably, right? Yeah. Um, I have my mom's credit card, but I'm only supposed to buy pants with that. Okay. She'll understand. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. That's a lot of tax. Yeah. Processing. There we go. Wow. That's about nine times more than I thought it was going to be. If you bought these brand new, they cost a lot more than that. Yeah. Lucky my mom wants me buying expensive pants. I'll just tell her your pants. All right. Uh, the alarm just went off. We have an investigation. We have to get going. All right. Why don't you grab all our equipment, grab the car, and I'll meet you downstairs. Got it. Hey, do you think you can actually come with me this time and help me with the equipment? Because there's so much of it. I just got my lunch. All right. I'm sorry. All right. See you down there. See ya. Mmm, meatball. That's a top-tier sandwich if I ever saw one. In the realm between the known and the unknown lies the world of spirits demons, and the unexplained. For the denizens of Tinseltown, there's only one place they can turn. International Ghost Investigators, Hollywood Division. This in? Yeah. Oh, that's deep. Up here. Up here? Okay. Oh. Yeah. Oh, all right. OK. Here, here, stop, okay. stop, all stop. Right. All right, hold on. Come on. Store. Oh, why don't you get it fixed? It's your car. Why should I pay to get your car door fixed? Why don't I have a license? I don't know. Don't hate me because I like the ball. Riding slow in front of y'all. Seven fit is from the mall. I'm the dude that people call. When they need a hit, I got a made up. Ah, that's right, 2036. What's that? That's when I get my license back. Oh, you should get all the stuff out of the car. We're going to need everything. I, I, all of it? Everything. Are you going to help me? I'll help you use it. Bring it up to the door. I got to press the doorbell. Yeah. Is that the last of it? Yeah. Case 000067, Jenny McCarthy. She's Jenny, called us about Jenny a. Jenny McCarthy? Yeah. She's called us about an amorous apparition. I love her. I yes, she's her. fantastic. Party at the Palms. Actress, model, Party at the Palms. Yeah, I don't know about that. Party at the Palms. Sing, singled man. out. No, I don't know that. Party that... at the... Oh, she's great. Oh, yes. I love her. She's wonderful. What's anyway, that? that's it. It's a... The camera? Yes. Hello? Yes. Uh, she's called us about this apparition. Apparently, a lot of starlets have stayed at this house. Uh, the original house that sat on the property was a, a house built by Una Merkel and Zazu Pitts. Now, it was rumored, I do stress rumored, that the two of them were Dutch roommates. I don't know what that means. Spinster roommates? Nope. Lesbian lovers. Anyway, that house burned down, and uh, when it was rebuilt, it was a rental property for quite a long time, and it was uh, 
Several starlets lived in the place. Connie Stevens, Stella Stevens, and Stephen Eddie Gourmet. It's a rental built in 1958, and they've all felt something, a presence of a spirit that uh, has been a little frisky. Hello? Oh, hello. Uh, Ms. McCarthy, hello. we're yes? from ITI, International Ghost Investigators, we're here to help. Oh, yeah, yeah, come on in. Hi. OK. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm Jenny. Great. I'm Paul. Nice Hi, to Dave. Meet you. Hi, Dave. Come on in. Big fan. Wow. Just want to say that. Thank you. I think your stuff's awesome. Thank awesome. You. I don't mean your stuff. I mean your stuff's awesome, but my I mean... stuff's pretty awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, she is so funny. I didn't even know she could talk. We're here from International wow. Ghost Investigators, and uh, we hear you have a problem with an amorous apparition. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what those two words mean. What does that mean? Oh, it's a ghost that wants to... Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, God. Or whatever. Wow. You really like my stuff. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was, that was awkward. You guys are under, like, a confidentiality agreement, right? Okay, sure. okay. Yeah. Well, we're, we we're bonded. That. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Yes, we're bonded. And also licensed. Not for driving. I am. For driving and investigating. Um, in my inside kind of Hollywood girlfriend world, the Carmel Electra, Denise Richards, like all those single hot ladies. Uh, they are great. great. I love them. We really know those? The problem we have is we're horny. So they told me about this house that you can rent, and they've been getting f***ed by this ghost and loving it. And I love it because then I don't have to worry about a guy going and writing me out. And exactly. Then I, I don't know the call. Exactly. exactly. He's dead. Right. So free. So free. Totally. So what's the problem? Why are we here? So I don't really have a problem mm -hmm. with the ghost f***ing me. Great. But I have a problem if I don't know what he looks like because I won't f*** ugly people. Probably should show us her other house. Oh, well, question though. Oh, um, sure. When I am f***ing the ghost, um, if I want to give him like a job, will the j be invisible or will it, I have like ghost j on my face? How does that work? I definitely want to think about that. So do I. And, but, yeah. That'd be awesome if you guys could find that out. That'd be. Oh, we so, will... what he looks like if the j is invisible? That's the two got things. We got, got, we got our marching orders. I know, because I just pay a lot for this hair. Yeah. I don't want to ruin it. Yeah. <laughs> let, me, let me show you guys. It's the best day of my Should life. Her face? My first impression of the IGI guys, well, I actually thought they were pizza delivery men at first. Um, but then I realized that they were kind of perfect for this job. We are perfect for this job. I could see myself in her hair. I just want to shake the surgeon's hand. I mean, those are perfect. It was so shiny. It's like, look at that. So um, this is the first time uh -huh. I encountered the guy. The OK. Spirit. Made you a mixtape there. Really? Yeah. Hot jams for a hot lady. <laughs> so, it's all for you there. Really? This yeah, that's for you. Thank you. That's very nice of you. My style when I make a CD for a lady is I try to customize it towards that person, you know? Uh, so for Jenny, I obviously went completely instrumental. Uh, I started with some popcorn, you know? And then I go into some disco Star Wars, uh, tubular bells from uh, The Exorcist, oh. uh, and I throw in some Spanish flea, a little Tijuana brass, because I know the ladies like that. And a little Boston Pops, but only the Arthur Feeler, because it really all went to shit after that. Mm. And then I always end with the only non-instrumental on the CD, which is Menomina. The one the Muppets did? Who are the Muppets? The mixtape that Paul gave me, I um, destroyed so uh, why don't you explain again what happened? Okay, so I came to unload the dishwasher, mm -hmm. and I was kind of putting stuff away here when I felt something. That's the reenactment of me? Well, here's the thing about reenacting. You have to inhabit the character. I felt um, a presence kind of doing something to me from just, behind. Just back brushed yeah. by you? Or? Yeah, like... like I'm getting a mental picture of it right now. Down my back and then on my butt. Oh, yeah. That's real. I always dress like that. The challenges of playing Jenny were first her breasts. They're quite large. Again, I want to get a picture of that. Yes. OK, great. 
Wait a minute, though. Okay. It wasn't a finger. It wasn't like a poke, but it was a thrust. That's a really good word okay. for it to describe it. It was okay. a thrust I felt. Okay. Almost to the point where I felt like I could have been kind of thrown into the oh. counter. Don't tell me I look like that. Uh, wow. So I didn't know if he was wanting to do me from behind in the kitchen mm. or what, but I definitely felt my a, a thrust into this area. She let me feel her boobs uh, because I can't, you know, obviously play her without doing that. Okay, so this was the second time I felt something. Okay. Okay. I was doing some leg cleaning and I felt this presence again. It was kind of almost like um, it brushed past me this time. I mean, the only thing that is real in that reenactment is me eating pie. I love pie. Wow, that's really good. I bake a different pie for every investigation. The crew loves it. He bakes great pie. Sometimes I stick my thing in the pie, and I don't tell anybody about it. You stick your thing in the pie? Fork. I stick my fork in the pie. I just couldn't think of the word. Maybe it's a very OCD ghost. I don't know. Maybe he's just trying to help me out. Or he's trying to do me here. Well, we'll investigate. We'll try to find yeah. that out. That's why yeah. we're here. Part of the skill of being a reenactor is inhabiting the character, is becoming someone else, and is holding your breath for a really long time. I work a lot because of that. All right, uh, basically what I'm doing is I'm taking radiation readings. Uh, sometimes paranormal entities will give off low level radiation and this will tell us if they've been in the vicinity. Uh, nothing yet. I haven't checked my drawers to see if any of my underwear is missing. It's probably a thing I should do before this crew leaves. Uh, I'm just taking photographs. Uh, sometimes uh, spirits can be caught uh, through cameras uh, as opposed to the naked eye. So we just take random photos. Sometimes we'll catch orbs uh, or we'll uh, catch actual spirit uh, images. You good? Should we move on to the next room? Just give me a second. I want to just, maybe you want to get that. OK. Let's probably move on to the next room. OK. Actually, yeah. the light's really good here. Is Hold it? on. Yeah. Feels good, yeah. Hold on. Back. Oh, this isn't, yeah. Beautiful. One more. OK. You know what? Let's take a couple. Of, oh, over yeah, here. good idea. I like that. One more. You know, those turned out really great. And, you know, I'm probably going to use those for the calendar I do for my family every year. Mm -hmm. That's great. Thank you. So we continued the investigation. Hey, Jenny. Hey. When I saw Dave on the toilet, I was disgusted. You would think he would close the door. You would think he would not with Paul in the room. She's really pretty. Honestly, that was one of the nicest bathrooms we've ever investigated. Oh, yeah, really fancy. It had a heated toilet seat, because when I put my face against it, it was really warm. Actually, you just used it right after me. No, oh, you... Oh. Woo! Oh, hey, Jenny. Hey, the camera floats. I think it's waterproof. Uh, actually, no. Yeah, I think it is. That's my camera. Oh, this is your camera? Yeah, it's not working. We lose a lot of equipment through accidents. I mean, a lot. Luckily, we're heavily insured and bonded. Why are you pointing at me? Because you break just about everything that gets broken. Oh, I, d I thought you were pointing for something else. Well, you definitely have an entity in the house. There is definitely a spirit. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. That is so exciting. I'll say, right? I just got really horny. We're very okay. close to identifying who this person is. Our research has steered us a certain way, but at this time, I'd like to confirm it by doing something we call spirit drawing. 
Since it was so important for her to know what the entity looked like, we decided that spirit drawing was the best way to go. Really? It's very interesting. <laughs> I hypnotize Paul. No, he doesn't. And then he becomes an empty vessel. Doesn't the work. Spirit I takes over and actually will draw through him. Really? He can't draw. So we can see what he'll look like through the drawing. We can it see. He can draw don't himself. Don't let him do this because it doesn't work. All right, here we go. And watch the watch. Watch, watch the watch. Every time we do this. And sleep. It's kind of like so weird. Yeah. Oh, oh my um, God. Oh, I'm so sorry. It was. It wasn't awkward when he fell into my boobs. It was annoying, but it kind of happens all the time. The airport, the mall, church. Sorry, just okay. Now your hand is. I'm in sorry my about that. Yeah, put your. Could you put your hand there? Yep, yep, yep. And then, oh, whoa, no, back, Paul, no, no. That was very inappropriate. I have no memory of that even happening. You know, luckily we have video. All right, here we go. Now, draw. The spirits in him now. See that? It's like, yeah. okay, a mallet. The hypnosis, I was a little bit skeptical. I wasn't quite sure if it was real. Or a hammer. Oh. Definitely looked like he was in or on another plane or on some type of it's drug. Like horse. All right, this is starting to make sense. Oh. And then voila, I had the picture of my ghost in front of me. That's starting to look like a person. Okay, okay. All right. Done. Oh, no, here he goes again. Oh, sorry. No. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, Paul, 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 wake up, Paul. Um. So inappropriate. Yo, don't. I told you it wouldn't work. Who drew that? That's awesome. Anyway, this, uh, I'm sorry about that, but sorry. this proves who uh, our, our research had shown. So this, this is, is, this is him. Did you this do that? is he. No way. This is Raul DeMarco. Paul, that, I gotta say, that was a great drawing. Well, on behalf of the artist who is not with us today, I will say thank you. Yeah. Anyway, it's an amazing likeness, and this was the spirit that was inhabiting the house. Uh, I do extensive research before any of our investigations. I'll go down to the Central Library, go through old books, go through old newspaper clippings. Uh, I'll do look at architectural plans of the buildings, see who previous tenants were. I'll sit beside him. Sometimes he lets me uh, turn the microfiche. Sometimes you do turn it too fast. It's very tricky because uh, you have to have very nimble fingers and a very small rotator cuff on the wrist like this. I have very small hands, the hands of a child. But my hands fit perfectly on the knob. He's often been told that his hands fit perfectly on a knob. I can't tell you how many times I've been told that. He's not half bad looking, but it is a cartoon. What is his name again? Raul DeMarco. What, what ethnicity is that? Argentinian. Oh, that works. Oh, good. My ghost, I guess they said, was Argentinian, just like the new pope. So. Uh, anyway, he is was a polo player, and he actually died in this very house. Uh, he How? drowned in the pool <gasps> along, along with his polo pony. Mm -hmm. That's weird. No, is it? never explained. No. I don't know. Fun fact: Did you know that well into the '60s, water polo was actually played on horseback, which explains why drowning was the second leading cause of death among horses. That's not true. Number one cause, suicide. That is absolutely not true. That's why they called the 60s the Great Depression. No one called the 60s the Great Depression. Why would anyone want to kill a horse? Well, besides the obvious. There you have it. So do you have an actual photo? Yes, we do. We have a whole portfolio. We'll, awesome. we'll give you this. You look, he's a very handsome man, quite the coxman of his day. <laughs> Clara Bow, Joan Crawford, uh, many of, uh, of Hollywood's elite. So he was a man whore in, when he was alive. Mm -hmm. he and he continues was. to be a man whore. And it continues. Well, I'm glad right. we could be of help. You were awesome. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. I didn't draw that. We're going to be on our way. Uh, we left some equipment just for scientific purposes, but we'll pick that up in the morning. Okay. But uh, have a good night. I'm very happy. Yeah. So are we. Yeah. Can't wait. Neither can we. <laughs> I mean, you. for you. Many times in an investigation, we'll do a lockdown. That's where we leave some sensitive electronic equipment to observe, and we leave the investigation. If you've ever seen the movie The Entity with Barbara Hershey, we were hoping for that exact outcome. That movie is why we got in the business, to help people.
didn't feel violated. I felt... Um, <gasps> elated. But apparently, night vision goggles, not so good with direct sunlight. No. <laughs> Luckily, the doctor said that the blindness is temporary. They told you yours would be temporary? And in answer to uh, Jenny's other question, it is invisible. <gasps> totally worth it. Paul? Dave? You here? Who said that? Dave. Where are you? Right here. Paul? I'm coming. Ah, who's touching me?